Hey everybody, it's DJ Jer here with Shop Time, and I've had some questions on uh, the different channel settings for fixtures and things. So I'm actually going to walk you through a little bit about what that's, what the differences are, and what the advantages are, and what the disadvantages are. So to start off, uh, I actually imported a Freedom Strip uh, Mini Quad Five um, because we'll be using that in the next tutorial. But uh, I'm just going to actually delete that for now because I want to show you the differences in like the core three by three since we've already had that one created um, importing fixture we're going to look at the chauvet three by three and let's see where we have the five channel already selected no i'm sorry with the nine channel so i'm actually going to select the three and then we're going to open that up again I just want to show you how simple the DMX program programming can be, and I also want to show you how advanced it can be. So uh, through Show Express. So the next thing, let's see, we already have the nine channel. We're going to open up the thirty-one channel just to show you the extensivity of what these fixtures are and what they look like. So just to start off, um, the three channel basically all this is going to allow you to do is use three channels: red, green, blue. Uh, again, it's going to have all the different levels over there. Now you can see this does not have any of the macros. It doesn't have any of the uh, the speeds or anything like that. So, um, oops, going into here, you know, it doesn't. This is the only three channels that that three the three channel fixture or the three channel usage of that fixture is going to actually allow you to do. So the nine channel again, it gives you more opportunities. It gives you with the dimming, um, the color diodes itself the shutter, the macros. Um, so truthfully for this fixture, this the nine channel is probably one of the best ones to use if you want something that's going to give you a cool effect. And also if you want something that's going to be simple enough to understand. Uh, and I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about. We're gonna now go into the three by three 31 channel. And you can see the 31 channel is a lot more extensive now you have red green blue red green blue red green blue all the way down and <clears throat> you can see it uses up 31 channels now you have to understand the core three by three is nine different uh nine different cones or nine different uh diodes so this group right here is your first one this is your second diode this is your third diode so on and so on all the way down until you use up all nine so this one right here is going to be your bottom right diode or your last diode on your fixture. So what this allows you to do is you could you could create X's, you could create um, yeah, a lot of different things. I mean, it really it's hard to explain all that uh, on on just a video like this. But again, um, these these are actually going to be very similar to uh, what the nine channel was. So really, the only the only difference or the biggest difference is going to be now you can change each individual color of each diode. That's going to be your biggest difference from jumping from the nine channel up to the 31 channel. Again, is it not? It's not completely necessary, but uh, just make sure that uh, if you really want to do some advanced things, then yes, the 31 channel is a great way to go. I personally prefer to use as many channels as possible. So I have as much flexibility as I possibly can. Uh, again, with this fixture, the nine channel might be the better way to go because here you have your macros, you've got your speeds, you've got your dimmers, and you have your shutter. Um, those are probably the most common that you'll use out of this. And that's all right there in the nine channel. Now, if you use a nine channel compared to a 31 channel, you're actually burning up 22 extra channels on your fixture because you're now jumping from a nine all the way up to 31 channels. So you start taking away, this is the disadvantage of using a lot of channels uh, per fixture that are not needed, is now you are taking away 22 extra channels, which is technically, you know, about, um, you know, almost if you did it in the three by three, you're looking at seven fixtures. Um, with this one, you're looking at two fixtures. So uh, again, keep in mind what your fixture, what you want it to do, what you want out of it, uh, and then figure out which channel selection is going to be the best for you guys. So again, uh, for this fixture, the nine channels probably the best. If you guys have questions on any of your fixtures on which channels or how many channels I think uh, would be most beneficial for you, feel free to email me, contact me. Um, you can reach me at Jeremy at DJ Jer 
shoptime.com. Hopefully that helps you out. Thanks for watching. And our next video, we are going to get into depth in the editor. We're going to um, just give you a little brief on exactly how this all works. Uh, but again, I had so many questions on how many channels and what's the purpose. So just wanted you to, to get a little bit of information on that. Hopefully that's been helpful and we will see you next time.